are talking Shark Huntress. This one is directed by John Riggins and stars Katrina Gray. Now, this has got a 1.5 uh, mark out of 10 on IMDb, pretty low, but let me tell you, there are worse shark movies that have come out this year. I'm not saying this is a good movie, by all means, but let's keep things in perspective here. Let's talk about Shark Huntress, what's the plot here? Okay, so it focuses on this girl, uh, played by Katrina Gray, who has lost her mother through a shark attack, and her mother was a kind of eco-scientist trying to develop a alternative to plastic using algae. And um, the daughter, played by Grey, is kind of involved in this kind of uh, eco-warrior style um, pursuit as well. So her and a group of friends decide to go off to this kind of, uh, kind of paradise type location where her mother apparently worked in secret in a lab. Uh, however, there's been a great white shark attacks there, which is very unusual because it's not the kind of the normal, normal kind of area that great whites are seen. And obviously, the kind of the, uh, the body count starts to rise. There may be human bad guys involved. It might even be big business, who are the real bad guys here. What will happen? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. So let's discuss Shark Huntress. Okay. Don't get the wrong impression, this is not a good movie. And in fact, it's a bad movie. But I will say this does have a couple of things in its favour, certainly above some other kind of shark movies that have come out in the last year or so. So what can I say on the positive column on this one? This movie is shot better than some of these movies that I have seen that I'm talking about here. Yes, I'm not saying again, this is not particularly an amazing, amazingly shot film, but nonetheless, I do feel this is just a little bit more of an assured hand behind the camera. There's a good use of different types of, of shots, you know, wide shots, aerial shots, close-ups, for example, and they're framed and kind of shot quite well. So on a technical side, I do think this is somewhat more proficiently made than the movies, things like uh, Virus Shark or Apex Predators, also low budget kind of schlocky shark fare. So yeah, it's, it's kind of a little bit more of a uh, sheen to it in regards to its shooting. Uh, I gotta say, so I think location shooting here is a lot better. We do actually seem to have a quite nice location that looks kind of like, uh, you know, quite a, a kind of tropical kind of backdrop to it, which does kind of give it a uh, a bit more of a, you know, a, a feel that this is, the, the people in this movie are somewhat kind of more, um, in an area where it's, it's less kind of populated, so to speak, and therefore may well have, uh, you know, more likely to come across trouble, for example. So, and, and it, it looks great as well. I've got to say, this kind of like the, the, uh, the foliage and everything looks great. Acting. Acting is something that I've seen pretty much every of you slate here. But when you say acting, if you use broad terms like the acting is bad, you make it so like the whole cast is bad. And I don't think that is actually true. I do think there are a couple of supporting characters here that are acted fairly well. Uh, just a couple of like, as I say, no, not the main certainly, but uh, the actual, uh, like a couple of the friends, for example. I actually have to say, I didn't think the acting was all that bad. And actually if they were in a, in a different movie with more kind of, a, a, you know, a well-rounded cast, I think they would have been absolutely fine. But I think their performances were, were okay. Um, and it does have somewhat of a positive message in regards to, uh, you know, climate change, kind of pollution and stuff like that. But put a pin in that because we are going to come back to that. Okay, let's be realistic, however. This is not a good movie. And I'm going to tell you why I think that is the case. Despite that I think this movie does have a couple of qualities to it, for the most part, it is a low budget, typical, silly shark film where we barely can kind of see the shark and the plot is filled up with time-wasting scenes. Okay, so let's kind of delve into it a little bit more detail. So let me just come back to a couple of things that I talked about previously. The acting, first of all. Although I do think a couple of the, kind of the, the, the smaller characters are acted fairly well, there are plenty of characters here, including the, unfortunately the main character that is not acted particularly well. Katrina Gray, who plays our kind of our main character, 
she kind of seems to have one expression on her face through the whole movie. We see her kind of glance at the camera a few times. And to be honest with you, she's a Slovakian a uh, actress, and there's, there's sequences where she's like talking to herself in English and stuff. And thinking, well, why won't you speak in Slovakian? Surely that's kind of like your native tongue and things like this. And you know, there's, there's sequences here that are just like um, not particularly kind of well acted. Uh, it's not the worst acting you've ever seen, but it's not brilliant. And there are also other characters here. For example, there's kind of like there's like a scientist guy, terrible actor. Um, that's kind of like kind of guy with a huge like Father Christmas beard. Not brilliant, you know. Uh, so yeah, so there's, there's there's some kind of choppy acting through the movie. So that's that covered off. Let me just cover off one other thing that I did say in the positives as well. And that was the kind of the eco-friendly message. So yes, this this movie, uh, for its flaws, does try and promote a, you know, a litter-free environment, and that's kind of like the, the theme of the uh, of the movie, if you like. It's saying don't use uh, disposable plastics, try and you know not use them, and things like that. So I applaud the message, and I do agree with the sentiment. However, this movie is smacking you over the head with this message. There are some films that will try and have a, you know, social, political, you know, message here and there, and some films can kind of weave it into the narrative and it seemed quite natural. This one, it literally stops the film and gives you kind of an info dump about kind of plastics. There's a sequence where our main character just finds out that her mother has died. The very next scene, we have her group of friends, not talking about her mother, but oh no, explaining to the audience in exposition heavy dumps about uh, why plastics are bad. In a, in, a, in a kind of like using terminology, if they're all involved in the kind of the process, they should know all of this, but they're kind of talking about it as if, you know, to, ultimately to us as the audience who might not know anything about it, can understand what they're talking about. Like I said, I appreciate the message and I applaud the kind of like the positive, uh, uh, you know, effect that this is trying to have, but as a narrative, as, a, as part of a film, it fails badly, and it does it a few times as well. Um, now, I mentioned how well this movie is shot, and I, I don't mean it's like a fantastically shot, you know, we're not talking, uh, you know, blockbuster level of, of, of kind of um, camera work here, but the camera work is fine, but what isn't fine is the editing. The editing here is awful. Um, just awful in the sharks so the shark attack sequences are are quite poor and we're going to come on to the shark in a minute but nonetheless they're edited horribly with very kind of quick cuts of just kind of splashing water a dodgy fin things like this there, there's no real ton of tension building up here um the shark attacks are quite poor but also there's just random kind of edits in the movie there's a sequence for example our main character and our kind of boyfriend are like walking on the beach and it's kind of it looks like it's in the morning it's quite light out and then there's just a random clip of this other girl walking with a guy in the dark and then it kind of goes back to um our main character on the same kind of stretch of beach uh in the light I think, what the hell you know what the hell what the hell is this editing all about so there's some piss poor uh, post-production here um, the shark itself like I've said you never really kind of see it it's just a fin the shark attacks are filmed in a way where they obviously don't have the budget to really make a shark we get a couple of kind of like underwater shots here they don't even really even really use um, stock footage which is interesting but they that I, I get it you can't really afford to have a, a whole shark and stuff but you can kind of like have a bit of a build up, but I'm not saying you'd have to rip off jaws doing the kind of the POV shots and things like this. But unfortunately, the kind of the shark attacks here are filmed in a way where there's no real sense of, of, of dread. I mean, for me, the, the terror of a shark is if you're in the water, you know, you just don't know where it's going to be and things like that and where it can kind of, kind of come up from. And, and then you do sort of see it coming towards you and it's kind of, you could, it's too late to do anything about it. There's no real sense of that here. It's just kind of like, very kind of quick edits of like, ah, and then, you know, a fin and that's it basically. So the, the, the shark attacks are quite poor. And then this leads me to the next problem is this, the, the problem here is that the movie really is, is just about people talking in rooms, mainly talking about climate change and kind of plastics and things like that. And again, I'm not saying that the message is bad here, but it's not really what you want to watch when, you, when you're buying a movie called Shark Huntress. 
you know, it's, you, you want to see a, a woman hunting sharks, kind of coming into conflict of sharks. And the funny thing here is, obviously, these are meant to be environmentalists, but they're, they're literally proactively going out to kind of attack a kind of a shark and things like this. Um, which they do address, to be fair to them, but, you know, uh, again, it's just a little bit of a silly message. And we, we have this, you know, typical kind of like, human bad guy plot that's always the case of in these kind of low budget movies because they can't afford to have a movie based on a you know a, a, an effects heavy kind of antagonist like an actual kind of shark and things like that um and the movie takes a hell of a lot a long time to get going you know it's over halfway through the movie before we really try really get the this kind of our group of uh, our friends trying to uh, you know, get involved in the main kind of plot. It's a hell of a lot of kind of setup, and we have very kind of like long kind of pointless scenes. For example, of this our, our a protagonist kind of learning to dive in a kind of a swing pool, or two guys putting up a radio antenna and things like this. There's things here that just didn't need to be in there that are clearly there to kind of like pad out a running time for a very kind of like uh, weak ass kind of story ultimately. So. I do think there are some technical elements here that I, th I think, um, you know, improve this above some other shark movies that are that have literally no redeeming features. But this is not a good movie. In fact, it is a bad movie. Uh, it's just not bottom of the barrel, I would say. But it's certainly no better than the three out of ten, and that's what I can give this movie a three out of ten. Purely because I think there's some technical elements here that I think are well made. And that's really the only thing here that I'm giving this movie kind of props for. Outside of a couple of okay supporting performances as well. But other than that, it is a, it is a void of creativity here unfortunately. 3 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment on a show. We'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.